This is Microsoft Authenticator. Like some other apps, it doesn't support exporting accounts. In this video, we'll learn to manually transfer codes from this app to another. So, let's get started. I will move my Discord 2FA account to a different app. Using this method, you can move all your codes from one app to another. This will work if you have two devices or just one device. The first thing we must do is log in to the website and find the authenticator settings. They are either in the security settings or the account settings. For Discord, they are here in the account settings. As an example, the 2FA settings for this site are in the security settings. Now some sites offer you to update the authenticator and some offer you to delete it. You can also delete the existing setting even though you have an update option to follow this video if you like. There should be a deactivate or delete button. Click on it. It might ask you to insert whatever code is in the existing authenticator app. If you don't have access to the app, it will give you a backup way to restore. Done, the two-factor authentication settings have been reset. It's time to add the Discord code in the new app. First, from the existing app, delete this account so we don't get confused later. Click the Activate or Enable button next to the 2FA settings on the website. It will open a QR code and a secret key. We need one of those depending on your situation. Once that's done, open the app. I will use this Proton Authenticator which has many amazing free features. You may use any other app. I will click the plus icon. It will open up the camera with an option to enter details manually. If you have two devices where the QR code is on another device, just scan that code with this camera. That's it, it will get the details automatically. If you are working on this device only, you need to copy this key. Then over here, tap the manual key option. On this screen, I have a few options. You might have some different ones as well. However, these two options will be there at any cost. In the name field, give it the same name as the program. In my case, it will be Discord. You can give it whatever name you like. Then in this key field, paste that key. Leave the rest as is if you're not sure what to do with them and then click add. Lovely. You can see that even though both are through different means, the codes are the same. This tells us that both are the same thing. I will delete one. The process is not done yet. Next, we need to insert whatever code is in the app on the website. There should be a field to put in that code. If not, there should be a next button to show this field. In this option, we'll put in whatever code is in the app. Nearly every website offers an option to create a backup method. Some will ask you to save backup codes, some ask you to enter your number, and some ask you to create a passkey. I will download the backup codes. Lovely, now it's all done. If you log in to Discord from a new location now, it will ask for the 2FA code from the app. We can also pick a backup way. I will put in the code and sign in. There you go, the account has been moved. Using the same method, you can move all your codes to an app that has importing and exporting built in. Then if you decide moving somewhere, it will be much easier. With that said, this is it for this video. Thanks for watching it. Please subscribe for more like this and take care.